now and the 21st. Last year, the couple welcomed eaglets, turned eagles, arrow, and prairie. And I just love this yeah. eagle family so much. I feel like it's the first family of the <laughs> two 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 parts. Parts. Yeah. And Everybody can stop by and see them. It's, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're so fun to watch just fly around. Mm -hmm. You said you've seen one grab a fish before, oh. not here, but in Alaska. Yeah, in Alaska, just it's unbelievable. Yeah. People don't understand the wind spin. The wind spin. Yeah. And eagles like massive. Massive. And yeah. I like it that the girl eagles are yeah. bigger than the boy eagles. Probably smaller. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, girl power there. There you go. Hey, so we can talk about cold and snow around here, but we're going to talk about a place that has its no shortage of cold and snow, or does it? Talking about Antarctica, by the way, it hit a record, a record temperature yesterday of 64.9 degrees. That beat the old record of 63.5 degrees back in March of 2015. Now, these temperatures aren't even normal for summertime in Antarctica. So a lot of scientists and climatologists are really concerned about these, the melting of the polar ice caps and rising sea levels and the like and changing climates and what have you. So just uh, looking at that, just astounding numbers there, nearly 70 degrees almost uh, in Antarctica. All right, winter weather advisory in our neck of the woods that going up to effect in about uh, four hours here. We're about the one in Clinton counties that'll last until 10 o'clock in the morning. Right now, we're seeing, for the most part, dry conditions across the Miami Valley. There's a one little lone snow shower or flurry that's drifting past Lebanon and Blanchester and just to the south of Wilmington over towards New Vienna. So, uh, you're seeing a few rounds of flurries so far. Still looking at the uh, snow that's on the uh, sidewalks there, and I'd say on the lawn rather, as opposed to the sidewalks in Salina. Temperatures in the 20s. You combine that with the breezes out there, five to 10 miles an hour, it feels like it's in the teens. So it's plenty of cold. And as the snow falls in the morning, temperatures are going to be chilly. Winds are going to be gusting at times. So it's going to make roadways on the slick side. So if you have to head out to work tomorrow morning, just a heads up. Temperatures in the upper 20s and falling into the mid 20s overnight tonight. Here's the future cast where we uh, bring this forward and we look at about 6 o'clock in the morning coming in from the west. That's when the snow starts to move in. So places like Richmond and Liberty and Oxford will see that about 6, 6.30 in the morning. Then as we uh, fast forward in time by mid-morning, 9.30, 10 o'clock, just about everybody seeing a good round of snow showers. But it's the area just to the south in the southern portions of the Miami Valley where you can rack up the best of the snowfall totals. Then there's a long in the action midday, about noontime. Then we just get rounds of scattered snow showers throughout the afternoon and into the evening time. We start to get some broken clouds as we move into the overnight. First things uh, Sunday morning, head into services, see some blue skies, some sunshine out there. And then it quickly fills back in with clouds for the afternoon. And then look what happens by about late afternoon into the evening time. Another round of snow showers with some rain showers in the southern portions of the Miami Valley. And that transitions into an all rain overnight. But we're looking like more precipitation to start the work week off. All right, so snowfall totals at least about a half an inch. Most of us will see about an inch of snow tomorrow. And then those southern portions of the Miami Valley could see about two inches. So really, snow showers tomorrow are going to make the roadways on the slick and snowy side. Some of those could be blowing and drifting, so just give yourself a few extra minutes if you do have to head out. 25 overnight tonight, mostly cloudy and cold. Over the weekend, we got the snow showers on Saturday. Big flyers are playing, so if you head to the game, just playing accordingly, leaving yourself some time. And 42 for us on Sunday, sunshine for the uh, morning and then afternoon clouds and then evening we're going to call it snow showers and rain, not just rain. The temperatures in the lower 40s, though, look how we go up, up, up as we get into next week. Lower 40s, mid 40s by the time we head into Wednesday, but at least we're dry. And then we got the chance of rain coming in on Thursday, temperatures in the lower 40s. Jesse Max is going to keep you up to date first thing in the morning. Thanks, Dante. Today is Go Red for Women Day, a movement through the American Heart Association to end heart disease and stroke in women. 